That's a cat. He's really big. During the outdoors, got this buck on the ground. Dave here, Journey of the Outdoors. I got a tip for you. Um, this is a really good tip that's going to save you guys money. I'm all about saving money. You know, some people go out and they spend, you know, five, ten dollars on some washing soap and stuff like that to wash their camel. You know, I really don't, I really don't think that's all that necessary. I used to do it hey, until I found this out some years ago. And here it goes. I use it. It's a great tip. I'm telling you. Um, first, uh, okay, it's just baking soda. As you can see, it's simply baking soda. It will take out blood. It will take out um, scent. It will take out anything. You know, if you've ever had a dog chasing a skunk and get sprayed, <laughs> then you know that baking soda works. You know, you do a baking soda bath to wash the scent out of the dog. Um, if it takes out skunk, it will take out pretty much anything. You know, but um, you just use this. I'm telling you. One thing you really want to do though, you want to make sure that you turn your camel inside out. Turn your camel inside out. So, you know, and use cold water so that way it won't fade your camel and then you get busted in a tree stand by a deer and wonder why. Um, you know, once it's all brightened and it's like white and it's really not even dark and blended in with the woods, then deer will bust you. I'm telling you, I learned the hard way. Um, I'm a really scent freak. And uh, this is why I use this. It'll probably cost you, what, 50 cents, 52 cents a box. You know, and you, you get about three washes out of this, depending on how much camel you're using. Um, you just go ahead and throw your clothes in there. Um, you know, and, you know, make sure they're set right and you don't overfill the, overfill the washer. And then you'll put about in maybe half a box of this in there. You know, you can use a little bit less, which is about a cup. You put about a cup of baking soda in there to a large wa a large load and wash your clothes, uh, take them out, however you dry them, you can do it that way, um, throw them in the dryer and you know if you're going to be hunting the next day, just put you some leaves in there in a box, like a Rubbermaid bin, a tub, um, throw your clothes in there, throw some leaves in it, you know get you some scent in there, that's the cheapest way to do it and it works the best, but what's going to happen is once you're done with that, once you're done washing your clothes, they're gonna smell like nothing, which is the best thing in the woods. Um, you know, it's smell like nothing. It's not smell like dirt or leaves or anything like that, but it smell like nothing. You wanna smell like the surroundings. But, um, you know, there's just one tip for me here, Dave. Um, obey your laws, dude. You know, obey your laws. Go out there, you know, check your regulations. Make sure you're hunting the right way. Um, I'm sure this isn't against the regulations except for maybe like, uh, you know, consumer consumptions or whatever. So, you know, they want people to spend more money. But um, one tip here from Dave, try this out. I'm telling you, it'll work. It'll get you more deer on the ground and that's what you want. Be a better hunter. You know, there is more anti-hunters out here trying to stop people from hunting. Hey, this is a great sport. Um, support your outdoors in any way it is. Uh, fishing, hunting, outdoors in general, ATVs, whatever. Just show them that the outdoors is going nowhere. Hey, stay tuned because we got more stuff to come, more tips to come here from Journey to the Outdoors. That's a cat. He's really big. Journey to the Outdoors. Got this book on the ground.